Okay, so next I'm going to talk about just how to back up Metasoft within Metasoft itself. You want to, want to always make sure you have a backup. Um, preferably, um, you would use some kind of a backup solution where it's going to notify you when, a, when it's, the backup fails or you're not relying on some kind of manual process. Uh, we have solutions like that ourselves. Um, we offer those to our customers. But that's something I would really look into um, getting is some kind of a backup solution that's going to back up the data automatically. It's kind of out of sight, out of mind. You get notified when there's problems or errors. Um, that's a great way of handling it. But uh, this is also a good way to just make sure you have a backup if you don't have anything like that in place. Start doing this, at least in the interim. So you can go File, Backup, Backup Data. And uh, you're going to get a prompt like this where you can select the location where you want the files. So this is just general computer stuff here, but I'm going to click the Find button and I'm going to select the location. And then I'm going to go ahead and just throw that on my desktop. I'm going to click OK and start the backup. And this is a small data set, so it's going to go pretty quick. Yours might take a little bit longer depending on the amount of data that you have, but, but it's done. Now I have a backup of that data. Okay. Um, so if something were to happen, I can go back and restore that. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and found it helpful. If you did, let us know by giving us a thumbs up by clicking on the like button below. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to write those in the comment section below. And if you want to get more helpful videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.